Hey guys, it's me. I got a project today. Um, it's not the vending machines. I can't do them right now because it's raining. So, got like an inch of rain overnight. So, I mean, but I got something y'all might be happy. Y'all might remember it. <clears throat> This is the Dell Optiflex GX280 2nd Gen. If, if many of y'all recall, this computer um, was put away because it needed a video card in order for it to be fully functional. So, it was functional under the way it was, but... It didn't have no air glass or anything, so I wouldn't be able to sell it for what I wanted for it, so. I do have a brand, well, it's not brand new, but it's a modern. It even has HDMI on it. This is an AMD Radeon 55450, I think. Heck, I don't know. I can't remember. But. We're going to be putting that card into this computer. And this one does not require no external power or anything like that. So that's even a plus. It's a great upgrade. First, I'm going to turn this computer on to make sure it still boots. So, without further ado, we need to hook everything up. I just want to make sure it still works before I just go throw a video card in it. So... Hell, I may turn it on, may blue screen. It's been setting up for. What was that? About a year, actually. Little standouts coming out. I think I might plug in now. There we go. USB. I just want to confirm this still works. Action power. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, looky that. BIOS. Uh oh. That ain't good. Oh, maybe not. <clears throat> I'm fix my stand. There we go. And as you can see, this is why it needs a graphics card. So, or one of the many reasons why it needs a graphics card. Everything's fucking huge. Oh wait, what do we got? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. This one was the one that. God damn. Yeah, this one don't have no driver for the video controller, and the one that Dell gives me is not compatible with Windows 7, so. So right now, we're going to shut this down. I'm 
sure y'all want to watch me install this, so we're going to point the camera over here now. Okay. Pop that off. Oh, wrong way. This is BTX. It goes the other way. Now we cooking. There we go. That's it now. So now we're going to reinstall the side panel. And since this one does not have no VGA, I'm going to need one of these little things right here. So, just attach it like that. Stand the computer up. Oh, if you have to remove any of these things, take them out. Don't leave them in, like I just did. Made a rookie mistake by doing that. Uh, needs to rotated because it's uh, reverse from what it's supposed to be. Okay. Mm. Let's see what it does. Well, I didn't blow up yet, so that's a good thing. Let's see if Windows can find a driver for it. I'll look on the. Be right back. I'm gonna look on my computer to see if I got the driver on here. Grab a flash drive. See if Windows finds a driver. It's probably just going to put the standard display. Yeah. That's what I thought. <clears throat> Let me copy the driver real quick. Okay, looking through my driver database on my main computer. I have it. Yes, I know I'm getting a not genuine message. I forgot that. I kind of forgot to put the product key in earlier. Oh well. I'll put it in after I do this. So, set up. What this bad boy does. It is, ah shit, I forgot, 64 bit. Well, I gotta download the driver. I gotta download a 32 bit driver for this, I forgot. 
Not on my shit 64 bits yet, so um, I'll be right back.